back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're going to be doing a full test and review of the Cold Steel Drop Forged Survivalist. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I finally have a knife named after me, even if I didn't design it. Still pretty cool. This is a one piece steel construction that is drop forged, obviously. And um, this is one of three of the brand new knives that are coming out for from Cold Steel for 2017. This is a big old honking freaking clip point Bowie style knife. This thing is freaking sweet. Um, I was really excited because out of all the designs that I was interested in, the one named after me looked the freaking best. Now for the specs, it is 13 inches overall with an 8 inch freaking blade, which is a nice big old blade. Um, the spine thickness of this knife is just under a quarter of an inch. It is made out of 52100 ball bearing steel, which is a nice tool steel used to make really, really high speed, high strength tools. It is featuring a swedge on the clip point. So for you, when you're doing any pick sticking, any hunting, anything like that, it is rocking basically a full flat grind all the way down from the very top of the spine down to the actual secondary bevel. And it looks like the Rockwell hardness is roughly 58 to 59, which according to some of our research for ball bearing steel is actually gonna be really, really nice. As long as the heat treat on this particular blade is kicking some serious butt. We're gonna be running through a whole gauntlet of testing that we're gonna be overlaying in this video. Uh, something that I do wanna mention is I would definitely recommend wearing gloves while handling this blade due to the fact that it is all steel construction. So if you get any type of oil, blood, um, sweat, anything like that on your hands. This could get kind of slippery. It does have a lanyard hole, which is really nice. However, naturally your your hands kind of sink into that groove. And I'm white knuckling this bad boy, like really, really, really tight. And it actually doesn't hurt. However, just for safety and for the fact that I want to make sure this slip out of my hand or have any shock, because I can only imagine this would have a little more shock. Uh, in my hand because it's one steel piece construction. Um, definitely making sure that I wear some gloves. The sheath is actually pretty decent. This is the Securex sheath that basically thermoplastic. However, the fit on this bad boy is a lot better than normal. Snaps in really nice. Won't do it coming out. And there's actually no rattle this time. They fixed it on th this series for this year. And it looks like it has a nice belt loop where you can actually take this on and take it back off. It has Velcro and a button. So you can actually um, strap this to your belt and take it off without actually having to remove your belt. I know for a lot of us who rock fixed blades, that's a really nice feature. Well, we decided to take this thing out and give it a workout. And a workout did it get. Holy crap, because it was gonna have, basically, for all intents and purposes, in my little world, be my namesake, I wanted to hold up. So you saw that it was pretty darn sharp to begin with, so I want to take it through after about two hours of work outside overall with all the stuff we did. We only film and actually whatever makes it into the edit is only a small portion of the things we actually get to do. With a knife, we just kind of keep, you know, pick up on the key stuff. So we're going to go through and it snags a little bit, but the first little bit is actually pretty good still. It's definitely... Still, yeah, still a very serviceable knife for gonna be for a while. Yeah, that's nothing. Um, it is a little toothy for sure. So one thing I will say, and I'm sure it should be pretty obvious, is it's not a chopper. Not an awesome chopper, I won't lie. Uh, it's heavy, but most of the weight is on the back end of the blade. Now this thing's gonna be good for like pick sticking if you wanna take it hunting. Uh, the tip will be good for stabbing and piercing and getting in some, some really weird places. Um, due to the thickness of the blade being almost a quarter inch thick and the way the swedge works, uh, the tip is actually still pretty dang sturdy. Um, I didn't see any really big issues with the blade edge at all. Pretty happy with that overall. As you can see, there is two layers of coating on this blade. We have the initial bronze coating and then there's a black coating before you get to the steel. I like the fact that it did that due to the fact that um, it'll make sure that this thing is corrosion resistant for quite a long time. But you can see we beat up the guard pretty legitly and it's still hanging pretty tough. Pretty happy with that. Overall, I gotta say, for a $70 to $75 blade, I am not mad at this thing at all. I'm really proud to be able to review this thing. I'm kind of happy that uh, a knife has kind of like my channel name on it. Um, it actually held up to the quality standards that I have on my channel. It was really sharp out of the box. It cut a lot of cordage. It was slicing paper. It was shaving sharp. 
and then it just processed piece after piece after piece after piece of wood and it, ha it went through the Texas hardwood not once but twice which was something several other knives could not do literally with that same piece of wood only one of the knives that we had literally just couldn't go through it I couldn't force it down enough and it was actually a bigger bulkier beefier blade than this which I was kind of in shocking and the other knife was that $300 Kickstarter blade the forever knife that Tonto one that snapped uh, pretty much as soon as we started batoning with it because of the weak point in the handle um, now if this thing breaks at the handle we've got a lot of problems there's definitely something wrong with the heat treat due to the fact that um, the handle itself is a solid piece of 52 100 and it's almost a half inch thick so if we're snapping that, there's something really, really wrong with it. Now, something I can say that I really enjoyed about this blade is surprisingly, believe it or not, I actually didn't get a lot of hand shock. I actually had more hand shock with the hand that was grabbing the 2x4 to baton with than me having to worry about chopping and batoning when it was in my hand, which was a very, very reassuring thing. Um, I did notice that my gloves, which are my Mechanics Impact gloves, I also tra uh, trade them out with my um, ironclad exo gloves and I can link both of those in the video description. Both of those performed really well with this. The shape of the handle with the guard up front and the nice ramp right here on the back end of the pommel did a really, really good job of making sure that I didn't lose this thing in any way, shape or form. Um, so I didn't actually need a lanyard for any of the stuff that we are doing today. But as an initial impression and first test, first look video on here on YouTube, it's basically being the first time anyone's seen this, I'm extraordinarily happy with this blade. For 70 to 75 bucks, if this is the knife that's up your alley, I would definitely recommend this wholeheartedly. It put through a bunch of abuse that a lot of other knives have not passed. And we're definitely going to be keeping this around for a long-term review so you guys can see it about a year or two later. How this thing hung in there, how it lasted, how the edge, how the tip performed, how did I like it over, um, you know, multiple uses, taking it out camping, the wilderness, bushcrafting, everything like that. But above all else, I want to know what you guys think about the Drop Force Survivalist here on Drop Force Survival. And I definitely want you guys to leave your thoughts and comments, your suggestions down in the comment section below of this video. But that just about does it for now. If you're excited for the Cold Steel Drop Ford Survivalist and you love the way we did the test footage for you today, definitely throw this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about does it for now. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out. <laughs>